There's a lot of things to look forward to as baby boomers, but we also face a potential loss of something that we have taken for granted our whole lives, our hearing. Hearing loss is one of the most common experiences affecting older adults, and nearly one in five baby boomers have some degree of hearing loss. I know I do. But for those who are struggling with hearing loss, there's now a first-of-its-kind hearing technology available that is discreet, smart, and simple. So joining us now to tell us more about all of it is Dr. Jacques Herzog, a neurotologist and ear surgeon from the Center for Hearing and Balance Disorders at St. Luke's Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. So Dr. Herzog, welcome. Tell us all about it. <laughs> well, you know, you. I mean, a lot of people think a hearing aid is really the only answer to hearing loss, but it looks like there's a lot of new technology. How do you, how do you know if your hearing aid isn't enough? Well, hearing aids can be beneficial for many individuals as they start to lose their hearing. But over time, sometimes individuals' hearing will continue to trade even further to where a hearing aid may provide less and less benefit. So there's two components to our hearing, the ability to hear a sound and the ability to understand a sound. And as that word understanding starts to creep downward, uh, hearing aids may not be quite the thing they, they provide the benefit they would like. That's when cochlear implants come into play. Ah, so I know I've heard about this for quite a while. What is a cochlear implant and, and how does it work? How does it help with a hearing loss? So the difference between a hearing aid and a cochlear implant is a hearing aid is fundamentally a microphone, an amplifier, and a speaker. The amplifier may digitize the sound or filter it, but it's basically making it sound louder. It doesn't afford that improvement in word understanding. A cochlear implant will take a sound wave, convert it to an electronic signal, that we then are able to program various parts of the cochlear, the inner ear organ, to send the signal to the nerve to afford improved hearing or improved word understanding. Well, so what's involved with a cochlear implant? Well, How does a cochlear that work? implant is a device you place in surgery. It's under general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. The procedure takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> it's outpatient. They go home about two or three hours after we're finished with the procedure. How does that work? I understand cochlear uh, is the global leader in this technology, implantable hearing solutions technology, but also that there is something new that's just coming out called Canso? There is, but that goes back to what we were talking about with our devices. So we have the actual cochlear implant device we in, uh, insert during surgery. And so you can see here, what we do is we place the device here, uh -huh. electrode comes off, goes under the eardrum here and threaded into the cochlea itself. But then you asked about that external device. And so mm -hmm. this is a traditional external cochlear implant device that you had mentioned. And this part goes and sends a signal across the scalp. Mm -hmm. But Kenzo, which is simplicity in Japanese, uh -huh. is a one piece process Oh. that again has two microphones and a speech processor and then we just place it behind the ear as you can see it will be placed up here just like that. How simple is the new hearing technology? With this sim simplicity that we have with this device it's, it's something that any person can just change the batteries out very quickly they apply it to the scalp and then then the sound is just turned on to the inner ear, if you will. So as we always like to tell our patients, we're going to turn their hearing back on. And certainly there could be no better advocate for what you're talking about here than the guest you brought with you today, Nina Persh, former contestant on Survivor. And so, Nina, tell us about that. How is it having a cochlear implant in the jungle with the scorpions? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let me tell you, it was an amazing experience. Um, and having the cochlear implant really was beneficial to me because I don't think I could have done Survivor without it. I had lost my hearing about nine years ago. So the cochlear implant gave me back that confidence to be able to do things. And it was very simple when I was out there uh, using the, the uh, device and stuff. I didn't have any difficulties with it at all. Um, I mean, it's just, it was a wonderful experience. So how has it changed you, like forget a Survivor for a moment, just in your day-to-day -day life, how has it changed you, how has the technology helped you with that? There's a lot of pluses to that. I'm a runner, so I can wear a cap, I can wear sunglasses, and I can put my hair in a ponytail. And which it doesn't is, show. I know, it's a really big, big thing for me. Um, it has the dual microphone, so the hearing quality is superb. I mean, I don't think I could get any better hearing then I can get with the Canzo. We have some wireless technology that I use. Um, when I go hiking, I can give my, my husband a, a mini microphone and he can talk to me when he's way ahead of me and I'm behind him and we can talk and communicate that way. So how does someone know if they qualify for a cochlear implant? Well, the, first there's two common misconceptions about cochlear Break implants. Break it to me gently. <laughs> <laughs> the first misconception is it's only for people with profound 
hearing loss. So that's not the case. As we said earlier, it's very beneficial for individuals who start to lose that word understanding, having trouble with the telephone. The other misconception is it's not covered by insurance. And in fact, it's covered by virtually all insurance carriers, including Medicare, assuming they fit this criteria that we just spoke about. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, you know, this is very, very informative, and I can see how happy you are that it's really changed your quality and, of and life there. So thank you so much. Well, thanks for having us. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. To find out more about cochlear implants, visit www.cochlear.com slash babyboomers, or just log on to babyboomersinamerica.com.